Welcome to Hutchinson High School. I'm Rob Daniker, principal, and today HCVN is taking a look at the new uh, construction. Another positive about our new construction is our secure entrance to our building. Uh, we have 23 exit or uh, exterior doors to the building, but during the student day, access is limited only to door number one, the front entrance, and that only gets you into the vestibule. Once into the vestibule, you'd have to be buzzed into the building where you would, uh, visitors would be, uh, they'd register themselves in our computer sign-in along with uh, an ID check. So another positive element of the new parking lot situation is we have a independent bus drop-off area on the east side of the building, the east parking lot. Aside from being also the bus loading and unloading zone, it also serves as our activity entrance for evening events. Um, well, when it comes to the activity side, uh, obviously quite a bit has changed. Um, standing in what used to be the old gym, um, it's all been renovated, brand new floor, brand new bleachers, uh, nice fresh coat of paint. Um, and so it has made this space um, quite a bit more welcoming than it has in the past. Um, it's nice to uh, be able to host volleyball all in one spot now. On the other side of the wall, we have a duplicate gym, looks exactly like this, minus the two big video boards. Uh, that's probably one of the bigger changes in this, in this space. Um, two identical video boards, uh, and they're not just your average scoreboards. Uh, we can do all kinds of different things. We can do videos on them. Um, we have a FIED class that can run uh, workout videos on top of those, and so it's um, a lot more useful than just your regular old Dactronic scoreboards. Um, most game nights, kind of the plan as we set up uh, games, are Lower levels will play on the East Gym, and our JV and Varsity then will play in the, in the West Gym here. Um, we've had five home volleyball games, um, good crowds each game, and so it's been a lot of fun to be able to occupy this new space here in the, uh, in the gymnasium. Um, when we talk about other changes as well, uh, the auditorium went over or went through a major remodel as well. Uh, brand new stage, brand new seating. Um, uh, that, I would say, if uh, you travel around the area, is probably one of the the better auditoriums, if not the best auditorium uh, in the area. So it's a lot of fun uh, with the musical coming up, opening night, October 31st, uh, and to be able to put all that to use as well. So here we are in another new space uh, in part of the remodel. This is the brand new auditorium. Standing up here in the balcony, which is one of the uh, more exciting additions uh, in, in the auditorium remodel. Brand new sound booth, brand new light booth, all located up here now, a much better vantage point for um, our stage manager to work on the sound and lights. Like I said before, brand new seating, um, brand new balcony, brand new stage. Um, so when we put on our productions, whether it's the musical this fall, one act this winter, um, any of the community productions that come in and use this space, uh, they're gonna be very pleasantly pleasantly surprised with the quality and the, the, the ability that they'll have to do different things in here. Um, there is some of the old auditorium still remaining uh, on, on some of the tours. You can see in the back scene shop there's still some of the signatures from uh, past uh, participants in the plays and musicals and that was one little piece of history that we wanted to make sure we held on to as we went through this whole project. Well, I guess what the, the biggest thing that's new is we actually have space now. The old choir room was kind of a small hole in the ground that was kind of maxed out um, in terms of students that we could have. Um, but now we have, we have room to grow, there's room to move and be around the room and not sitting in our chairs all the time. Um, massive upgrades in technology, we have a nice big screen students can see, lots of whiteboard space. Um, the audio stuff is a vast upgrade from the zero speakers I had last year. Now we have like 11 in the ceiling, two up front, and then two subwoofers because you need subwoofers. We have a water fountain in the room, which is essential for our choir room. We didn't have a, a working water fountain last year, so that's great. Um, a sink, which we'll use eventually for something, I'm sure. Um, well, what's really nice is we have a, a nice big ensemble room that we can use for sectional work. Um, if I'm working with you know, sopranos and altos in here, I can send the bases. I'll, eventually, I'll be able to send the bases in there to work. Um, my office, since it's giant and I don't need a giant office, that'll be an extra rehearsal space also when all is said and done. Uh, yeah, so those are probably the biggest upgrades. And it's nice too, all of our choir robes, our 200 choir robes fit in here rather than take up other valuable storage space. Here we are in the new band room. Uh, much like we saw in the choir room, quite a few improvements in terms of technology in these rooms, or this room as well. 
uh, in terms of audio, um, when we look at the visual part of things, um, Mr. Klein will be able to use this to teach different techniques, to review concerts, um, and you know, brand new storage containers or storage lockers in here. Um, much more space too than we had in the old band room. And I know Mr. Kleindl has made that comment as well. As, uh, it's nice to be able to move around a little bit more and spread out more and, and just have that extra space to utilize with um, the different bands that we have, whether it's pet band, concert band, ja jazz band. Uh, all those students are able to use this space uh, much better than they were in the old uh, band room. All right, so this is our grand staircase uh, coming off the commons into the second floor uh, area of the tower. And we chose to decorate the area above that staircase with our four tiger pathways. And so you see Stream Sci High Business and Human Services. Innovative Foam actually crafted those signs for us and, uh, and provided that service and it really looks great. It's an example of our partnership with our local business partners. So this is our ARC, our Academic Resource Center, and the Academic Resource Center serves three purposes for us. One is it serves as our, our library. We have 5,000 book titles at any given time for checkout. We also have a computer lab towards the back end of the ARC, and up front it's a flexible meeting space for students to collaborate and work together on projects and assignments. So this is the second floor flexible open area, and so in this area we again have collaborative seating options for students to uh, work with one another in a more informal setting. This area abuts enclosed classrooms, traditional classrooms, but then also uh, off of this flexible area are flexible rooms as we call them. And so these areas are enclosed areas where students can collaborate and work with one another in a more quiet environment. So one of the biggest things that's been a um, drastic change in the new building has been these classrooms. And so you can see here I've got five TVs in my classroom plus more flexible seating. Um, my desks actually normally aren't set up like this, but you can see the chairs are independent from the desks. Um, normally they're set up in pods, but students can move them around. The TVs allow me um, to have groups connect in so I can, instead of having all the TVs show the same thing, groups can show um, their own work or they could be working at those, at those TVs. Um, oftentimes I've got a sound amplifier or a voice amplifier going which allows um, for students to hear better. I don't have an out, a loud voice naturally so that's a, a big asset in this classroom and I just love um, the big windows and um, you know the, the natural light that we can allow in. Um, I think it helps engage students, keeps them more awake instead of just the tiny windows that we used to have. Um, and I just find that the flexibility in this space and um, the opportunities that it presents are much more um, helpful in you know, creating a, a classroom that's much more 21st century instead of kind of stuck in the old ways and helps build our students into more um, technology driven and um, aware students of what's going on with um, the world around them and what they can do with the technology in their classroom. This is our third floor staff workroom. Um, each of the second and third floors has a staff workroom for teachers to migrate to when their general classroom area is being used by another course or another teacher. Um, so each staff person has a workspace in this location. And many staff people will use it for uh, preparation or they might use it as a collaborative meeting area. And you'll see this large um, collaborative table up front. So what you're looking at right now is our design and engineering suite. And they, students will start out on this side of the suite, uh, designing through um, CAD software, uh, whatever it is they might be working on. And then once they're ready to put it in motion, they come over to the machine tool technology side of the lab. All right, so this is our wood shop at Hutchinson High School. And in a lot of ways, it is a traditional wood shop. Uh, we do have some pretty um, modern equipment, however, and one of the things that is unique and, and different that we do use this wood shop for is for the construction of our tiny house project. Uh, this year our tiny house will be in its third incarnation, 
And, um, and you, as you see in the footage today, um, the trailer for the tiny house um, is already on site. And uh, in the background, we've framed up some walls uh, and students are getting started on that very soon. And so that'll be uh, completed in the spring and auctioned off uh, shortly thereafter. All right, so we're now standing in our robotics slash mechatronics lab. And this space will be used primarily by a ninth grade physical science engineering course. And what's unique about that course is we'll be teaching physics, the Minnesota State Standards on Physics, entirely through the lens of engineering. And the students will be using these mechatronics trainers to uh, learn those laws of physics as they go. So this is our west staircase. It is a three floor staircase enclosed on um, three sides by glass. And so you have a 180 degree perspective of uh, the west end of the building, including the student parking lot and part of the uh, stadium. I know you guys have been here before. HCVN has, has seen this area before, but it is uh, quite amazing, the finished product, just the vantage point that you have of, of the campus and the surrounding community uh, from this location.